SpaceX has completed the last big test of its crew capsule before it can launch NASA astronauts from U.S. soil. And there you just saw the trunk jettison again. Some really loud cheers here in Hawthorne, California. This test is looking great so far. Yeah, so the American aerospace manufacturer mimicked a launch failure off the Florida coast. It was testing whether the capsule could separate from a rocket and carry the crew home if something went wrong. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says it was a picture-perfect mission. Yeah, I'm, I'm super fired up. This is great. You know, uh, it's really great. You know, anyone who has an adventurous bone in their body uh, is, is, is going to be very excited about this. Um, and I think it uh, will help reinvigorate uh, interest in space. Well, Mike Wall is a senior space writer at Space.com, and he explains what SpaceX will do after its crew capsule test. There are only a few more things that, that, that they need to do. Um, they yeah, like they want to go through all of the data from this test flight just to make sure that it that it what that, that things did go according to plan, which it certainly seems like it did. You know, it looked like a picture perfect mission, but but they're gonna like examine that that spacecraft and and just make sure nothing weird happened. And then like they're gonna do a couple more parachute tests because it's it's like a newly revamped the, the parachute system on the Crew Dragon. So they're just going to make sure that everything works just just the way it seems to be working well, and then that will pretty much clear the way. That's that's why people think. I mean, sometime this this spring is is what NASA said, and and, yeah, and also what like Elon Musk said. That's that's when the first crewed flight is probably going to take place. NASA keeps on saying they they don't want to be the only customer for these spacecraft. They they want to be one of of like a bunch of different customers who will take advantage of this service to to get up to space and get back down again. And it, it sort of hopes to be the like anchor tenant, basically, or, or like the driving force that kind of shows other companies what they can do with this and sort of say, well, yeah, let's let's like start a whole new commercialization kind of opportunity in space. And so, yeah, I mean, maybe we're going to see the, these these sorts of spacecraft, I mean, Crew Dragon and also Boeing's, maybe they're going to be taking private space tourists up and down. I mean, maybe they're, they're going to be doing a lot of other things Maybe universities will will sort of pay them to like take payloads up there to do experiments and all i mean that's that's the long-term vision nasa wants to kind of jumpstart so they're just hoping that this this is the first step